Pastor Obvious here reminding you that 30,000 people, that's a lot of people. It's more than 30, more than 300, more than 3,000. 30,000. It's a lot of people. Thanks, Pastor Obvious. <laughs> and where are we? We're in Detroit. Great. What did we do? We sang and worship God. If you're grateful for this grace, then let me see your Lufa sweat. This appears and got that Lufa sweat. With the Lufa and got that Lufa sweat. ELCA got that Lufa sweat. Hey, yo, the water got that Lufa sweat. Lutheran sweat. Lutheran sweat. So your elves up to the Lutheran sweat. If you can't just praise like a god, they can't just praise. Throw your fingers. Lexi, tell me about uh, this morning's worship service. It was really cool. It was fun. Uh, uh, who is your favorite speaker and why? Um, I don't know her name, but the poem lady, because it was really inspirational. Poetry. Yeah. Poetry. Poetry slam. Poetry. Slam poetry. Yeah. Slam, poetry. <laughs> slam poetry. Slam poetry. That's what I meant. This is not a city attempting to transition into another city. It's just Detroit. It's churches and old buildings that lean like drunk lovers but still open every Sunday for worship. It's Coney Island hot dogs and Fago pop on the days when you want to feel like you are the only one told a secret. It's, it's what up, though. I like the lady that uh, talked about coats and um, she had like a woman's shelter. My name is Veronica Scott, I'm 24 years old, and I'm the CEO and founder of the Empowerment Plan here in Detroit. And a class ended up changing my entire life. The class assignment was designed something to fill actual needs. I did my research at homeless shelters. So the first product I created was the coat. The coat looks like a regular jacket during the day, but when you open it up, you can actually slide your feet in all the way up to your knees and Velcro it closed again to make a sleeping bag. Because a coat is just a band-aid for a systemic issue. And what really would have the impact is hiring the population that would need them in the first place. We hire only individuals from homeless shelters and then we train them in everything from sewing and manufacturing to employment as well as tech and whatever they need to become more independent and to be proud of their accomplishments and be proud of themselves. What are we about to do here? We're about to help Detroit in a helpful way. And are you tired at all? No. Nope. Awesome. Are you excited? Yes. And are you excited? Yes. Are you tired? Yes. It's really muggy out. It's really, really muggy out. It's really muggy out. It's really, really muggy out. It's sunny today. Yeah. And it's really hot. B, it's pretty hot. It's Out obnoxious. Here. Tell me about the temperature today. Hot. Yeah, it's really, really hot out here. <laughs> Tell me how you're feeling. Hot. Tell me about your sleeves. Sun's out, guns sun's out, guns out. <laughs> so Carter, tell me about your sleeves. Uh, sun's out, guns out, but Lexi took my line. Did you just steal that line from the girls? No, she took it from me first. Oh, sure, right, okay. What happened to your sleeves? Oh, uh, I, they fell off because my muscles were too big. Oh. Okay, um, this morning we were cleaning up the sidewalks because when we first got here I didn't actually realize there was a sidewalk. <laughs> nope. It was all coated with grass and dirt and dead stuff and trash and all that. The residents here are going to be able to walk to and from the bus system to get them to their homes. The sidewalk has been completely covered with roots, trash, branches. Yeah, lots of trash. So we've been working. We've been cutting down trees and raking and shoveling. Um, picking up all the trash and creating the sidewalk. Yes, and getting trees because they keep cutting them down so they can clear the sidewalk. So we get sticks and trees. Yeah. This is the way that we rise. Jesus will make us alive. Loving our neighbors and we love them in the name of our God. Compassion, not just words but action. Rising from the ashes just like Lazarus from the cast.
And though we're crying, dying, doesn't have the final. And neither does destruction. We keep it on believing in that Jesus resurrection. We practice it, we get after it, like mathematicians master it. It happens, the gavel of compassion, God has been dropping it. All rise for the call. Healing for the nations and justice for us all. Hungry, get to eat again. Where we find that peace within. Everybody's gonna get a home and never have to wonder where they're gonna ever get to sleep again. J E S U S. Bless the blessed, fresh to death. Seeking peace, more and more. Seeking war, less and less. Resurrect. He's driving the bones that need it. Death has been defeated. Watch him rise up like a Shelter for those with no home. 